Hey guys, so this video is a Valentine's Day DIY. It's my first DIY, so I'm very excited and I hope you guys are excited as I am. This is a really fun activity. I think anyone can do it. Um, it's a bit challenging in ways of being creative, but that's the best part of DIY is that you can do it however you want. So even though you're not a big fan of Valentine's Day or if you don't go out, this is more of a home decor, so it's fine. There's no need to give it to anyone, or if you like to give it to anyone, that's fine too. Um, I think people love um, things when they're handmade. I think it has more thought to it. So we're going to decorate three mason jars for this DIY. Um, they're all going to be decorated differently and they're all going to have their difficulties and their fun parts. So just bear with me and let's just do this and pull through. So for this DIY, you will need these materials. You want three mason jars. You want to have white chalk paint as a base. A few paint brushes. Acrylic paint craft tape, a stencil, yarn, two pieces of ribbon, three packages of heart candy, artificial flowers, artificial rose petals, and some lights. Okay, so let's get started. So I won't be able to show you guys how I made the hearts. Um, instead, I'm just going to explain how I did it. So basically, I used the craft tape to make the hearts, the cutouts. For these jars so for the first jar you're going to want to um, make a big heart so make the heart on the paper put tape on top of that paper and then you're just going to want to cut out the heart you have your heart after you're just going to want to peel it off from the paper and simply just place that heart onto the jar on a quick note, make sure you have all your cutouts ready before you start painting your jars. We're going to use chalk paint as our base. Simply just put your hand in to make it easier to paint. That way you'll be able to move around the chalk paint with your hand inside the jar. Just go all around until you make sure everything is just all white. Now that we finished painting our first mason jar, we'll put that one aside and let it dry. For our second jar, you'll want to make small hearts with the craft tape and cut them out. Then place them onto the jar. Make as many as you can until you feel like there is enough first jar, you'll want to use a chalk paint as our base. Just go all around and you can use the same technique by putting your hand inside. Our last jar is a bit more complicated. You want to use a stencil and trace it on paper, then use the craft tape to tape over your tracing, and finally cut out all the pieces and place them onto your jar. Once you have all the pieces placed onto the jar, you can start using the chalk paint and paint over your jar. After you checked if it's all covered, put it aside and dry it, just like the other two jars. And here are the results to our first step. For our first jar, I want it to be violet. To make violet, I'll be mixing blue and magenta, and then white to make it lighter. Make sure you're using acrylic paint.
Make sure your jar is completely dry before you start painting. As you can see, my base paint wasn't that dry yet and it mixed in with my acrylic paint. After painting your first jar, put it aside again and let it dry. For their second jar, we're going to want to use just red acrylic paint. For the last jar, I want it to be pink. I'm going to mix magenta and white to get my pink color. Before you move on to your third jar, make sure your brushes are clean. As you can see, I did not clean my brush well and you can see some purple paint is being mixed with my pink color. Now that we have all our jars painted, it's time to move on to decorating. For the first jar, you want to start by peeling off the heart. Then, we're going to want to use the three packages of hearts and fill all of that candy in our jar. I recommend buying four instead of three. That way it will fill all the way up. For our second jar, it might be a bit time consuming, but we'll also have to peel off all the small hearts. As for decorating, all you'll need is lights and simply put them inside the jar. Our last jar will also be a bit difficult in terms of peeling the cutouts, but no worries, this is our last one. Simply add the artificial rose petals inside the jar and then place the artificial flowers. And here are the final results. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. Comment down below and subscribe if you'd like to see more of my videos. So I hope you guys enjoyed this Valentine's Day DIY and it may have been difficult, I may have had some problems also but it's my first DIY and it's okay if it's also yours, some mistakes happen, that's the step to success and that's fine and all that matters is that you have fun and that you like your jar.